Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing really good. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a really great day. We're back playing some Feed the Beast Beyond again today, and hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing great. I'm actually really excited to get back into this. I haven't played this in a while. I've been playing mostly a single player, and I've been play playing mostly Pokemon stuff. I haven't actually been in the mud world in a while. But today, today, we are going to be murdering some things because I really want to kill a wither. I've got the wither stuff. I have, we, Of course, we got that last episode. We got this stuff. And I really want to go. I want to murder him. I want to take him in a hole somewhere, and I want to stab him a bunch of times. But unfortunately, if we go in right now, I think me and you both know what's going to happen. I'm going to get drugged to the dirt and laughed at. It's not going to be funny because I have no armor. The only thing I've got on me right now is my jetpack and, of course, my longfall boots. But I have absolutely nothing else to kill this thing with other than, of course, Oathkeeper. But I was looking through the NEI and I was trying to figure out what armor I wanted to use. And now there's a bunch of different stuff in here that we could use and a lot of stuff that I want to get into in the future. Mainly IC2 stuff. I love IC2 because I just personally, I really like the way that the armor looks like the nano armor and the, you know, the gravity suit one of these days. I want to get into this one day. But I have a feeling I'm not going to be getting into it anytime soon because this stuff takes quite a bit of work to get into. One of these days, I will be using this stuff, but not today. Today, I think what I'm going to get into, because I've been looking through a lot of this stuff, like I'd love to get into the Draconium stuff, I'd love to get into the Terra Steel, but Terra Steel is going to take forever before I get to. And the easiest stuff, I think, for right now will be the Flux and Fuse stuff. So, luckily for me, they kind of dumbed down the Flux and Fuse stuff. This used to take forever to make because you had to use the Magma Crucible and the Fluid Transposer. For Luckily for me, I already had them because I used them whenever I was making Gel and Cryothium to make the, the highest upgrades for these bad boys. And I was looking into what needed to be done for them, but, but now... You don't need it. You don't need it at all. All you need now is just to, to combine redstone with diamonds to make the stuff used to. You'd have to actually use the fluid transposer to transpose the, the redstone into the diamond. So that's a lot better for me because it's not nearly as hard. Now, it goes the same way with the, what's it called? The nougats. Uh, the nougats, all they take is this, this flex pyrothium blend, which is, again, just... Electrum and redstone so really easy stuff to make luckily for me and I I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make the full set Maybe I won't I don't know because I don't need the chest plate I hate this and I really I really wish they would hurry up and update this But I can't make the level 5 jetpack which if you guys remember if you guys don't know it's the flux infused jetpack Unfortunately, that's not a thing because I you can't use this to craft anything now There is one thing I can show you guys really quickly at simpler, at simpler jetpacks. There is a dark solarium jetpack, but there is no res. When did that get there? I didn't know that was there. I didn't know. Okay, I have updated the. Okay, okay. Uh, look at me. Hey, look. Hey, look. Look. Let, let's talk. I, I, I looked. It wasn't there, but of course that was a couple updates ago. So maybe I'll go ahead and make that bad boy. I don't know. How hard would that be? How hard is this? Giggity. <laughs> I need Dark Solarium, which is... Oh, it's going to take forever because the Pulse any No, it's not. That's not bad. Maybe I will make this bad boy just to make it. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do it later. I'm definitely going to be making them because I really want this guy. This guy. What do you do? What are you? I want all of this stuff. Okay, so there is a level 5 jetpack. I am stupid. I am really retarded. I didn't look and see if they updated the jetpack mod, and I'm really glad that they did. Unfortunately, they don't have the energetic, well, they don't have the, uh, what's it called, the Flux and Fuse jetpack. They have the Dark Solarium jetpack, which is the exact same thing, except it's the Ender I.O. version. Um, so it won't match the rest of the armor, which is going to bug me, but at the same time, it's still there if I want to craft it. I will if I want to. I haven't decided yet because there's going to be a lot of crafting involved. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I won't wait. I've got some stuff to do and we can get started on killing some withers. Let's get going. All right, so I've got a, I went ahead and made three of the pieces. I made the flux infused helmet, the flux infused leggings, and the flux infused boots. Now, I have figured out after I've already made the flux infused boots that we're probably not going to use them. Because if we look at the longfall boots, this bad boy has three armor and three armor toughness, plus it has protection four. But but this one only has three armor and two armor protection or toughness. So I'm probably just going to use the longfall boots. It's a little disheartening, but hey, it's a thing. It didn't take very long to make those things. So let's go bam, bam. Check it out. We look stupid. <laughs> we look really dumb. Nothing matches. Does this match better? 
Yeah, this match is a little bit better, but hey, I, it is what it is. I'm not really worried about what I look like. I just need this stuff to protect me from dying. So I know somebody mentioned in the comment section that they wanted to see if I could beat two of them at a time. Now, I'm going to try. I'm going to start off with one, and if I can easily destroy one of them, I might... You know, wait a minute. I think I'm rushing into this too quickly. Now that I think about it, the other thing that I really need is a bow. Because don't you... Aren't you required to use a bow? They're in the first stage now. I don't remember. Did they change that? I think they did. Hold on really quickly. I'm going to make a bow just in case. Bam. So infinity. That's actually really good. So I've got infinity power three and punch one. That is really amazing. Okay, good. Now I don't have to worry about arrows because that was the one thing I was really going to be worried about because I don't think I have a lot of gravel. I don't think I do at least. So let me grab an arrow. We're going to go find ourselves a hole and I'm going to go slaughter some withers. All right, so I'm currently in the ravine. I have went ahead. I think it's going to be a safe place to just go ahead and fight this thing inside this ravine. If anything goes wrong, I do. I have some god, some golden apples. I can't make god apples because it's not a thing anymore, and I hate it because it sucks, and I don't like it. I hate Notch for taking my god apples away. Now I don't have anything good. Like I don't. I don't really have any good enchantments other than protection four. So this could go south pretty quickly. I just don't feel like it's going to. I feel like I'll be fine. It's all good. We're good. This is this is famous last words right here. But I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be fine. Uh, I've already placed it down. If anything goes wrong at this point, there's nothing I can do about it. So let's go ahead and stay away from this thing. I can fly, so that's a good thing. So let's murder this thing and just ruin its. Let's just ruin its day. All right, I'm like super, I'm like really, really, really focused right now. The commentary is going to be pretty absent because I don't want to mess up anything. Focus level is at 9,000. Actually, I think it's over 9,000 at this point. I'm missing all of my arrows though because I'm trying to dodge its uh, bullets, its little bomb things, its wither heads. I think what I'm going to do, if I end up fighting multiples of these, now that I think about it, I think I'm going to go ahead and make like a Tinker's Bow. <gasps> I died! Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my health! <laughs> that's funny. No, that's not funny at all! I wasn't- I bet you guys were screaming at me. I was not paying attention. I should have ate an apple. I, I- you know, I was like so surefire on this one. I thought I was going to be fine. Go figure. That wither's still down there too. Hopefully I have Gravestone. I think Gravestone's a thing. I don't think I have to worry about that. Yeah, Gravestone is a thing. So how do I get to that without dying? Bye! How the heck am I gonna get to that without dying? Um... Hmm... Minecraft pro, I'm a Minecraft pro, I'm so good at this game and I never die. That's actually my first death, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99% sure that is my first, my first death. I'm dead. How am I going to get that? With him down there, I don't know how in the world I'm going to be able to get my stuff back. Hmm. I got to think about it. The bad thing is, see, now, see, I've got a couple different problems now. Um, I don't exactly have a way to get back in my base because I never made, like, a teleport thing. I always assumed I was going to be able to fly. <laughs> oh, I've made a big mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, God. This has been a, this is a bad day. This is so far, it's been a bad day. All right, I got my stuff back. All right, let's go round two. <laughs> Don't even ask how I was able to do that. Actually, to be honest with you, uh, it was really simple. He got distracted and went in that direction, so I was able to get to my stuff without him noticing. Okay, let's see. How far in the wall is he now? Oh, good. He's not. Oh, let's see if I can. Let's see if I get cheekiness on him. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, this time we're just gonna we're gonna think methodically this time instead of just being all nonchalant about it. He's distracted by something. I don't know what it is, but he it's got his attention. Oh god, now he's got his now I got my attention. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Round two. Here we go. I'm actually gonna eat this apple before I start. Here we go. Come at me. Come at me. 110%. 110%. 110%. 
No nonchalant. I know you can kill me now, so I know that's a thing. Now I don't have to. Now I just gotta worry about my health. You gotta be conscious about it, cause it's really hard. I, I don't like the wither effect just because it's really, it's really hard to see. Like if you've got even, if you've even got health back, that's the problem. Here we go. 110%. 110%. Taking all the damage. You're dead. Yeah, you're screwed. Goodbye. Get about. Get out. Get out. See, now that was a lot easier. See, that wasn't hard at all. But I did get my nether star, and I will be able to eat my apple to keep myself from dying. That's super good. Now let's go ahead back to the base. And I gotta, sh <laughs> I gotta show you something. I was a little, I was, I mean, I was panicking uh, before we cut away. I was like panicking. I, I had like. I had like dug up so much dirt and gravel to even get back in the base. <laughs> uh, so now I've realized that this base is amazing, but we need to have a way to get in and out of the base if I ever have an emergency and I need to get in here like super quickly. So I'm going to have to think that up off screen and figure out what I'm going to do with that. What's up? What's up mobs? Um, you guys are about to get in my way because I am going to be killing myself another wither. Wither! <laughs> hey, as long as- No! No! Stop it! I want to fight the- No! Stop it! Stop! I want to fight a wither! Jeez! Stop it! You guys deal with them. Oh, why not? Why? Why? What the heck? What is this? What is this witchcraft? <laughs> what is this witch? Screw off! Jesus! I hate skeletons, but what is this witchcraft? What have I done? Hold on. Is this not the way that it's supposed to go? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> why is this not working? But anyways, I, if you guys don't know why I'm doing this wither fight thing, it's because I need to go ahead and make my angel wings. And I can't do that unless I have, oh my god, look at all these arrows. But I can't, there we go, finally. Now I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor and get rid of all these mobs for me. But the, uh, but I need these angel wings because I want a better way of flying. And it's not that I don't like my jetpack, it's just because I'm probably gonna be, oh god, it's pro I'm probably gonna be spending a lot of my time with the, uh, the Batania armor just because I really like how it looks. And unfortunately that stuff can't fly. So I want these angel wings. Oh, I can't hit it just with a sword. I'm stupid. I wonder how many people asked me, t was telling me in the comment section, Wow, you're so stupid. You can get, you can get to fight with your sword. You don't need to use your bow. You're so stupid. You should have known this. You're a Minecraft bro. You know what? I am pretually stupid. <laughs> I actually have no idea. I had no idea. Oh God, I'm gonna die. Yep, gonna eat an apple. Eat it. Reach in, please. <laughs> I need my God apples, man. Uh, ooh, money shot. Okay, so to make this thing, I've got my two nether stars, and now I'm gonna need, can I have it back please? Thank you. I'm also gonna need uh, a red, a resonating redstone core, no, a resonant redstone crystal. I'm also gonna need two lassos, one of which holds a ghast and the other that holds a bat. Now the ghast shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let me go ahead and pull this bad boy back up. Let's do bam, I think I have one of those. Let's see, all I need is this. Well, that was anticlimactic. Do I have any string? Do I not Do I not have any string in my inventory? No, I don't, but I have a ton of hemp. <laughs> I got a ton of hemp. So let's go throw this bad boy. Come on, there you go. Don't lag too much now, there you go. So let's go ahead and make myself two lassos. Do I not have any gold nuggets? Let's go ahead and make some gold nuggets. Nuggets, gold nuggets, and let's go put that in there. And let's pull you back up. Let's go, uh, uh bam. Why you no do? Why you no pull up conflict? What is it? So I can do it manually. Oh, it's because I need eight experience. And I don't have eight experience because I died. Well, that's a thing. And due to the magic of time travel, we are now in the land of no internets, which uh, makes us Steve. Yay. Hey, how's it going? But that absolutely has no, that, that, that has nothing to do with the gameplay. So let's get back to what we're doing. So I have already gotten all the things that we need for these bad boys as well as this ring this very expensive ring two nether stars not to mention a cursed lasso with a ghast in it and a cur and a golden lasso with a bat which both of these were really hard to get the the ghast wasn't too bad because they spawned everywhere in the nether but the bat took me forever to find but yeah we finally got it so bam now this thing oh we get to keep our lassos 
Cool. Now, this ring is very special, so I can wear it. Uh-oh. I got to get rid of something. Let's just go ahead and take you off for right now so I can wear it. So I can wear it. So I, I can't wear it. Okay, I'm learning stuff. Apparently, you can't wear this thing anymore. But the way that this thing works, let's take my jetpack off. It allows me to fly. Kind of. Because there's one thing I still need to do because they've updated a U to extra utilities too to make itself more complicated, which is great. So I've got to make something that that generates grid power. So if you guys don't know how grid power works, I could go into a large amount of detail on what exactly grid power is. But in all honesty, even I don't know the gist of it completely. But I do know that it's a unit of power that powers extra utilities stuff which is great. So the best way to do it, at least as far as I'm concerned, is water mills. So the way these bad boys work, let's see if I can find them right there. So the way that these water mills work is they basically take running water that is beside it and turns it and they turn it into grid power, which each one of these has a maximum output of four. Now, the best way for me to, th I, have a, I have a certain setup that I use to make these things, well, to make these things work the most efficiently as possible, which I will be showing you guys once I get these things built, but they all they take is, uh, all they take is these uh, redstone gears, which is really simple to make. Then, of course, I'm going to need to make the burnt, the stone burnt, which is really easy to make in a resonant, in a resonator. Now, if you guys are doing this without having any grid power to start with, you could always go and use the solar panels from grid power. Each one of those make one grid power. The reason I'm jumping to these water mills is just because uh this is going to be this is this is going to enable me not to have to make the other ones the lunar versions if i can find the hold on really quickly let's let's just let's just look so wait power i i know they're here and I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can find them. Oh, there they are. So we've got lunar panels and we've got solar panels. So these guys are really the easiest way to do it because all you really need is lapis and some of that, uh, that polished stone, which of course is just stone. But you have to make 32 of each one of them, or else whenever it turns nighttime, you're gonna lose all your grid power and you're gonna die because you're gonna fall, which isn't great. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make the water mills, which they're pretty simple to make. So let's crack on with that one and get those done so we can make this thing and. Uh, Finally be able to fly, which technically we're already able to do. Wow! <laughs> What's up, gals? How you doing? But yeah, okay, so I've got my eight water mills made, and I've also got two buckets of water. So you should only need eight, because eight times four is 32, and you only need 32 grid power to make this thing work. Of course, I already have nine, but that only works during the day. So I need to go grab me a room. I think I'm just gonna make one over here. Now, this reminds me of something I need to do pretty soon. I need to upgrade my pickaxe. So, this one's great, which is wonderful, but unfortunately, it's not this all of the time. So, I might make another one just so that I can make sure it's instamine all the time. Now, I could just continue to uh, work this one up and give it even more redstone and stuff like that, but, um, I don't know if I want to do that. I, I, I don't know. I really like this pickaxe. But I hate that it's not instamine all the time. But anyways, that's one of the things I got to do in the future. So right now, I need to set these up. And I think I remember how it goes. I think it's like this. 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 And this. And then I think it was like this. This this and this i think that's how it was and then i think i need to do like this just like so now i haven't done this in a little bit so if i've done this wrong right off the bat then you guys can yell at me in the comment section but i'm about 90 percent sure it's like this all right and now yeah i think this is correct so let me go ahead and light this bad boy up put some torches so i don't have no spawns there we go. Now I need to get myself an infinite water source. So we'll do, break that block, bam, and then bam. Give me infinite water. Now I think all you need to do is set one in the middle and then set one on each corner. And I think I'm about 90% sure that's all I need to do. And give me one more. But, nope, nope, almost bammed. I pre-bammed, there we go. So now we should be making Yay, 120, wait, what? 121 grid power. That's a lot more than I thought was gonna happen. I thought we we're only gonna, I thought we we're only gonna be like 32. Well, 32 times plus nine is 41, but okay. I'm completely okay with that because right now we're making 121 grid power, which is great. 
So this is the setup that I usually use. This is about the maximum output you can get for one little setup. Um, basically what's happening is that uh, there's gonna be a water source block and that's flowing into these grid into these water mills. Now these water mills only work if the water is flowing into them. Like if there's a source block next to them, then it won't work. So that a way that there's no source block coverage on any of this. All of this, all of their sides are being covered by flowing blocks, except for the ends, of course. Now I could, in theory, do this. And I think actually, to be honest with you, I think this will actually give me even more power, right? Yeah, 125, heck yeah. So I can just, I can, I can actually maximize this by putting a little bit more on each side, just like so. And then let me grab another source block. Bam. And then I think all I need to do is do this. And let's take this block out. Boom, boom. Now I should be making 137. Yay! So now I've got every single side covered by source block. Well, covered by sh running water. And that's the perfect setup, at least for me. Now, I know there's probably, you could probably make this better in some way, shape, or form. I can't physically think of a way to make this any better. Um, if you can, let me know Let me know down in the comment section. I really don't need it, because I all I need is 32, because I can fly now. Let me take this jetpack off. Bam, I can fly. I believe I can fly. I'm, I'm Steve. I hate being Steve, dang it, but I can fly now. And of course, I can turn these wings into anything that I want. Let me look, let's go usage. Usage, usage, no usage for you. Alrighty then, so I've only got, I've got no wings. I thought you could turn these into the other wings. That's the reason that I never, I didn't do it. That's weird. Anyways, <laughs> I could fly now, even though technically I could fly before. This is independent flight, so I can wear any kind of armor that I want now, so that's great. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode, guys. I had a lot of fun today. Don't forget, guys, if you hate this video, you know where to put it, but if you didn't enjoy, do not forget to hit the like button, guys. Like I always like to say, you guys have been showing such amazing support on our channel so far. And I want to say thank you guys for all your main support. Guys, don't forget to post any questions, comments, or smart marks, comment section down there. I love hearing from you guys. And since you did got since you guys did make it to the end of the video, I want to say, I want to extend a personal thank you to you specifically. I want to say thank you for making it to this far in the video. Not everybody does. And I really do appreciate it. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And I'll have a great and wonderful rest of your day. See you guys in the next video.